Oh, motherfucker. Ugh, whatever, it was just a vitamin anyway. All jokes aside, this is my last official Ibiza vlog. And this is part two. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> today is show day, but before we do any show preparation, like rehearsals and stuff, we do promo on the beach again. It's basically the same thing we did yesterday, but a different beach, different day. So I will show you again, and off we go. had a quick little dinner. We are at site, it is 8 p.m. and we are doing a little rehearsal before we all get our hair and makeup done by professionals. What's fun about Resistance Ibiza is every week is a different color. So this week is our silver Wow, look at those arms. <laughs> Choreography on flick. Welcome to the resistance. bed around uh, 8 a.m. last night, so I'm feeling great. Today we always kind of have a relaxing day on Wednesdays after show days, and luckily one of Katie's friends, Katie is my boss for those of you who don't know, got us a cabana at Nobu, so we're gonna relax by the pool for a little bit. We just got back from Nobu, took some showers, got ready real quick because we are doing a mini family friends dinner. There's somebody who's like really close to the Ultra Music Festival family invited us over for paella. And if you don't know what paella is, it is a dish of like seafood and rice. So I looked up, it's gonna be squids, mussels, crawfish, prawns, and clams. I usually never eat stuff like this. I'm not a really big seafood person, but I've seen pictures of paella all around of Ibiza and it looks super good, so I am so excited. By this so I can see how big. Oh my god. This is for comparison. Cheers. Mm. I like that. I don't think it's super seafood at all, though, right? Well, damn. I feel like we sufficiently crushed that. Good morning. We got a little teamwork to make the dream work back here. So today we are going to Formentera, which is an island off of the island. So obviously, when you have an island, there's a bunch of little islands around them. Same with like Hawaii, which I only know that because I live there. I'm not making this up, I promise. But Formentera is known for having like the best clear water.
right, so what you just saw was called flyboarding. Nailed it! So <laughs> sick. I feel like I was just getting it at the end. It's so fun. If you guys ever have the opportunity to do that, but you probably take won't be it. Because <laughs> you feel so nervous in the beginning. You right? do. It's 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 weird. But, but it's just epic. do it. It's such a good adrenaline rush. Oh. And now time for lunch. Yep. Good morning. Look at these baby hairs, living their best life. <laughs> so I don't really know what is in store for today. I know I'm gonna start off the day with a nice little workout. All right, after that insane workout and lunch, we are about to jump off some cliffs. <laughs> Ari, I didn't know I was living with Ari on a girl day. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> we are going to Talamanca, and that's where a couple cliffs are, and uh, I'm a little scared, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm not. I'm gonna hopefully not jump on a shark or two. <laughs> there are no sharks. Three, two, one, go! Launch it! <laughs> got back from cliff jumping. Now a little poolside action and avocado toast. You'll love to see it. Oh, you gonna make me any, huh? These boys, they think I'm their slave. It's really crazy. Me and Amy decided after the first week that we should get eyelash extensions because we're doing a lot of things without makeup and eyelashes really just help make you look more awake. And what's amazing is there's so many services you can actually get right in your home here in Ibiza. I'm sure you could do that in LA, but like nobody does that. All right, lashes are done. What are we thinking? <laughs> I feel much more put together. I'm excited for going to the beach. So right now we are at La Dos Lunas. I also found out I am dyslexic on this trip. It's really cool that even in Ibiza, we still do the family dinners, just like we were on tour. Because technically this isn't a tour, it's like a residency, but you know what I mean. <laughs> we made it through dinner. Feeling great. And now we're going to a party called Elro, which is in Amnesia, and it's kind of like a dress up party. So obviously, we are taking advantage of all of our amazing costumes mm -hmm. via the Ultra Angels. Got this. Woo! Got the Mama Angel. That's right. And the gold. You can't invite dancers <laughs> to a dress up party and not expect the most. <laughs> So today has been a morning of running errands and kind of getting our life back together before the week starts up again. And right now we are at the Time and Space Sculpture. This is actually a relatively new sculpture. It was created in 2014. The guy who made Cirque du Soleil actually funded it. If you see the tallest column in the middle, it is 10 meters high and topped with 23 karat gold. So we are currently here to film a little resistance video with Final Kid. They are the people who make the after movies for Ultra. So we're gonna do something cool with this. And right next to the time and space sculpture is the door to S. Vedra.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment below what was your favorite thing I did in this week. And maybe I can try to do more travel vlogs and include more of that said thing. Like, did you like when I was partying? Or did you like when I was doing outdoor sports? Or whatever you enjoyed or didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments below because this is a conversation between me and you. And if you like this face, make sure you hit subscribe so you can see you next Thursday.